guys oh welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing a heatless curl hair tutorial I've seen a video of the technique that i'm going to be doing today on tiktok um i will post a link in my description box down below of the actual user and the account in my description box and then like if you haven't seen it before i'll put put it down below so you guys can watch the original video but today i thought that i would test it out to see if it actually would give me some nice curls so the way to do this heatless hair curl is by using kind of like a craft foam ring something for like wreaths and stuff so i picked this up from the dollar store there are three different sizes in here so i'm thinking of using the big one because the other one's probably obviously gonna be too small to use on my head so this is a ring that I'm going to be using today to do this tutorial or to do this kind of look. So let's see how it fits. Okay, so I feel like it will fit in my head. Like, not perfectly, but it will fit, fit it enough to do the job. So I've not tried this at all before. I just watched the video and I kind of did it in my head to see if it actually, I could actually execute it. I think I could. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now before moving on i'm going to be spraying my hair with water um, i think in the video his hair was just completely wet like out of the shower or something like that but i am just gonna spray it down with water and dab in it for this video okay so i am not gonna wet my hair like completely drenched or anything like that just kind of damp because um i wanted to fully dry uh i think in the video he probably left it overnight and slept on it but i'm just gonna leave it on for a few hours just to see what it will look like so this is as much as a, i'm going to spray it down if i need to spray a little bit more as i go then i will do that so uh i think what i'm gonna do first is i'm going to just kind of tie one half of my hair up because in his video he actually just worked with one side and then just had this other half in a little bun on top of his head i don't even know if it's necessary for me to do that but i'm just gonna do it and maybe this is gonna be able to hold the wreath on my head as well so it doesn't move while I do one side, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm probably going to spray it down a little bit more. Okay, so I think it goes like this. So we'll have the wreath on the head, just like this. And then I think we want everything brushed down this way. So we don't have any weird kinks or weird kind of bends in the hair. Okay, like I said, I haven't done this before. So I'm hoping from what I remember, this is how you do it. So you take a little section of hair like this. You want to brush it down. I guess as nice as you can. And then what do I brush it up? That's how you do it. Okay, you know what? Before I do this, I'm gonna quickly watch this video and I will be back. Okay, clearly the video was too sped forward and he didn't even actually show how he did it at the first part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. That's the thing with some TikTok videos. They just kind of go so fast and they don't actually show the process, the beginning process. And you just kind of makes you wonder like, how does it go? So you're just left to learn it on your own. Um, don't mind my breakage. All right, so I'm just gonna do it like this. And then I'm gonna, oh, I wanna make sure that it doesn't have like a weird kink. I'm gonna brush it back like this then, just for this first part. And then we're gonna go, hold on, let me lower this chair for you. Okay, I'm gonna bring it in here. Oh God, this is hard. I move the ring. Okay, and I'll bring it down underneath the ring like this. So then now I'm going to take another section of hair 
along with that strand that I brought forward or brought under. And then I'm going to connect the two and then bring that up. Is there an easy way to bring this under? Oh, you're just gonna grab it. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab it while this is moving. Like that. Okay, making sure to pull so that it doesn't become loose up here. Spray it down a little bit. Grab another chunk of hair, making sure to add the last section that I used. Let's spray that down more. We need some curls to happen here, guys. Okay, bring this, oh, what's that? Bring this up, put my finger through, and then we bring it down like that. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know if this is gonna hold. No, it's not gonna do anything. Oop. Not gonna do anything, but we'll just pull it so that it gets tighter on this side. So, yeah, we're just gonna keep continuing. This is like the small pieces of hair that I have, or a section of hair that I have here. Now I'm just gonna take more sections here, like so. Brush that, make sure there's no knots. And then we wrap that around the ring. Put my finger through the little gap of the ring. And then I'm gonna use my fingers to pull it through. Oh no, is it working? Okay, I think I did it. So I'm just gonna basically do the same thing until I reach the back here. So that first round did not work quite well. So I'm gonna try to do this again, but this time I'm going to make sure to part the back of my hair evenly because as I was trying to wrap the last bit of hair around the back, it was getting caught with the other parts of my hair that I had tied up. So round two, I'm gonna try to do this again. I feel like I'm gonna give up now, but I'm still determined. I'm determined to see how it's actually gonna turn out, if it's gonna look like anything. Um, so let's do take two um, once again. All right, so I'm gonna go make sure to section my hair. We can't really half-ass this. You gotta make sure to make it nice and even so I just use my nail as a parting tool now I'm gonna spin around this you want to make sure from doing this side you want to make sure that this is pulled up nice and taut so that it doesn't get in the way and I'm hoping that would be the solution to why I was having issues the first time around. Whatever, it's not like even straight down kind of parting, but I'm hoping that would be a little bit better than what I did the first time. So I'm gonna make a little bun here, get this hair out of the way. Okay, clip that out. Hopefully this time it will it'll be a little bit more smooth sailing. So I'm just gonna spray this down a little bit more. Alrighty, so let's put this ring back on. And try this again.
Okay, so I made it to the last one and I feel like everything here is becoming very loose because I was having a hard time pulling all the hair through because I was moving the ring up and down. But this is my last piece of hair here. I was gonna wrap it around again to the back, but I'm just gonna leave it and I'm just gonna clip it so that it doesn't move. I'm gonna leave that at the end and maybe I'll connect to the other side of my hair with it. So this is clearly, I don't even know how this is gonna look like. Maybe it'll look good, maybe it's not gonna look good, but we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to master it this side and see if I can actually get it to look good. So now I'm thinking I shouldn't have done this. I should just let my hair down. Is it gonna work if I just pull it? The room and not ruin my whole entire head of hair. First, okay, how does this look? Hmm. Doesn't even look tight. Doesn't look tight. Just me now thinking about the mess that I did with my life. I I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna do it again. And I'm gonna come back with it on my head because I don't think you guys wanna see me wrapping it again. But if it turns out good this time around, you're gonna see this beautiful ring on my head right now. All right, I'm back and I finally have it on my hair. I think that this was pretty much like the 10th time that I had to restart and get it like this. So this is the best that I'm gonna do. Um, so it looks okay from here, but I'm gonna spin around to show you guys what I did at the back because I kind of gave up. But basically, I just wanted to see how this is gonna turn out. So I just wanted the sides to be all in there and then let that sit and then hopefully see if it works out or not. But this is what I did with the remaining part of the back. Okay, so this is what everything looks like here. Um, Clearly, I feel like I did not do it all right, but here at the end, I left it kind of, it was like a half up, half down kind of look where I left the back section of my hair down and then I just twisted it together and I clipped it up because if I were to try to loop all the hair in the back, everything is just going to unravel again and get loose because my fingers weren't like, like the space of the ring isn't wide enough for me to keep pulling my fingers and pulling the hair through if that makes sense so i just kind of left it and um just twisted it like i said and clipped it up into place so here again you guys can see it's just twisted and then just clipped right there i don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna see so i'm gonna take a scarf I'm not gonna sleep in this on, but I'm just gonna keep a scarf on just to have every, all my hair is kind of stay in place. So let me just spray this part down here again. Hey. So I'm gonna just use this silk scarf and hopefully wrap it around. Like guys, I do hair and stuff, but I don't do these kind of hacks. So it's fairly difficult for me. I feel like this could be done if you're doing it on someone or if someone's gonna do it for me, but this method is so hard to do it on your own. Well, at least for me, because I haven't figured out a good method or a system yet. So if you guys know an easier way to do this, let me know. Like with this ring, I'm saying. So I'm gonna leave this on for a couple hours and then I'll be back to reveal how this method turned out. All right, so it's been about two hours since I've had this on my hair. I basically just took off the scarf just so that I can have the air just kind of dried up a little bit because I wasn't gonna go to sleep in it or anything like that. So there was no need for me to have that scarf. So um, yes, I'm just touching it. Hopefully everything is dry inside. I just quickly kind of put the blow dryer around it just to make sure everything is good before I take everything out. So I'm gonna just go and 
take this out for you guys and see if these curls actually did turn out. Um, I don't know. I don't have a really good feeling about it because I felt like maybe I didn't do it like tight enough. But you know, the wreath is still on my head or like the foam ring, whatever I saw on my head perfectly. Um, and then I didn't do anything different to it. I still have the clip up here. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take that part out. I don't even think this part really did anything or did it. So this is what I twisted. So there we go. Did kind of get a little bit of curls with that. Let me just turn around first. So this is what it looked like with the hair that I left down. So mm, let's just pull this out. Um, in the video, he basically just took the ring and pulled it right out. So maybe I'll just do that. Hopefully I don't pull my hair. Let's do this. Okay, maybe not. Okay. Still a little damp, but... Um... Um... Um, <laughs> I mean, the concept is there. Let's try. Yeah, my hair is still a little bit damp, so it didn't really give the curls that I really was hoping for. I mean, this side isn't bad, like this side right here. Okay, I mean, yeah, okay, it's bouncy. Yeah. If I just kind of keep myself like this, this looks okay. And not show the top of my head, right? Like, that looks great, right? But, yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't really do anything. Like, I wasn't really sure how was it, how it was gonna turn out, by pulling it down and having the ring there, it's kind of like flattening it a little bit. So I gotta figure out a better way to put it on if I do try this again. Question is, am I gonna try this again? Probably not. It was fairly difficult for me to do this. There are so many other methods to try uh, curling your hair with heatless, like with the rope, and I've done that before. Post a link up here of that video that I did with the rope. Um, and I probably would want to try it again with my hair now a little bit longer. I did do it with my hair was short, shorter and I think I did it with extensions. But now that I have my own hair, I'll probably try that method again. But, I mean, this will work if you have somebody to help you out with it. But on your own, it's very difficult. So, I mean, if you were to practice and do it even better, you probably would get better curls. But this is the curls that I got. Not so much. So that's it. I just wanted to try this out to see what actually would work and it clearly did not work for me and it was a lot of um, hassle doing it. So I will not be trying this again. I might try it maybe on somebody else because it's better for me to do it on someone than on myself. But anyways, I don't know. If you guys tried this, let me know how it turned out for you, if it worked for you, if there's like another method that you would suggest to make it a little bit more easier. Maybe having a bigger ring will make it easier for me to put my fingers through there to pull the hair through, but I don't know, let me know. Otherwise, that's it. I just wanted to try this for you guys. So, hope you guys did enjoy this. And if you did, let me know if you guys like this. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.